football capital of the world, Indiana, is a fitting home Wonder for our contest tonight. Welcome everyone, Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and coach Mike Fratello and David Aldridge on the sideline. Mike, the crowd is buzzing as we get ready to see Team USA going head-to-head -head with the team of NBA stars. You could understand the, the excitement in this building. And it's easy to see why some of the best collegiate athletes in the nation on Team USA. Well, the NBA star squad is just stacked up with their top-tier talent. Now, this game, Clark, only an exhibition contest. But the fans, my goodness, they seem pretty invested already. And I can see why, Kevin. What a sight to behold. I mean, this might even be a once-in-a-lifetime assemblage of talent. That goes for both of these teams. I mean, you don't often get a chance to see this many big-name players on one court. I am so glad you and I are here to see it. Out there for Team USA, we've got Steve Alford and Michael Jordan at the 1-2. and two. Then Chris Mullen at the small four. Raymond Tisdale at power four. Down low, it's Sam Perkins. And out there for the NBA stars, Isaiah Thomas is running things at the point. With Jim Paxson and Mark Aguirre at the 2-3. and three. And then it's teammates Larry Bird and Robert Parrish filling out the front court. We know this game doesn't go on anybody's record. But you can tell these players aren't about to come out here and just make each other look good. I think that speaks to the quality of the players on these two squads. These are all true competitors. And unfamiliar opponents tonight. That adds some injury as we go to David Aldridge for more. Thanks very much. Now, both squads are excited to check out their future competition. The USA, they can't wait to test themselves against the likes of Larry Bird. And the NBA stars are very curious to see what Michael Jordan and Patrick Ewing can do. They know they're dealing with potential rivals in their professional careers in this one. Back to you. Good stuff, David. Thank you, Mike. I think we expected that might be the case. A terrific chance to do some feeling out. And it's really no shock to hear the NBA vets want a closer look at these young incoming talents. they got to be curious, right? Oh, goodness. They hear about them all year. Right. Mike, it only makes this game more interesting to watch as a fan. Clark, the fact that both teams are playing for keeps is so interesting. Yeah, I agree with you. I think this contest is going to be full of a lot of up and down basketball. If you blink, you're going to miss it. I'm expecting a lot of high intensity, high effort play for both sides to be pushing themselves to be at their best. Clark, there's so much to be excited about watching this unique matchup. But the biggest question is the most obvious one. And that's who's going to win this game? Look, I don't want to be a guy that fudges on picks, but it could go either way, Kevin. I mean, Team USA has a lot of hungry and ambitious young talents, but don't expect the NBA stars just to show up and roll over. I think they also want to win this thing. They got a lot of pride, don't they? Yes, they do. Parrish, the pass to Thomas. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Sam Perkins. Using his quickness on the interior. That's Thomas Vanport. The Stars shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. One guy we're going to keep a close eye on tonight, Mike, and this one is Michael Jordan out of North Carolina with a ton of promise. And everyone wants to see how he measures up against real pros. No better time to get a sense of what he might be capable of in the NBA. Whitman kicks to Thomas. Outside, McHale. Thomas passes to Williams. Here's Whitman. Back to Reed. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Ewing. Reed sinks that one from the post. A maestro running his orchestra. Isaiah Thomas is as good as it gets at the one. Jordan drives in. Jordan wasting no time, showing these NBA stars what he can do. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. Thomas passes to Reed. Back to Thomas. Pass to Reed. It's rebounded by Ewing. Both teams here are dealing with unfamiliar lineups. Playing with guys they usually play against. It will be interesting to see how they adapt to best fit that. 
Well, Mike, to me, it simply looks like a glorified high-level playground game. I mean, you got to make adjustments on the fly, adapt to one another. For Team USA and the NBA stars, that's going to be the case. If something isn't working, um, the coach just has to be adaptable. As we like to say, a guy like Mikhail is a problem. He's such an excellent scorer in the low post. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Team USA shooting their first free throws of the night. Free throw good, Jordan. And both free throws good for Jordan. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. The NBA stars trail by eight. Pass to Whitman. Here is Seasting. Outside, McHale. Right wing at the elbow, Williams. Good D by Ewing. So, coach, with the start of this game behind us, right now, it's Team USA who's out on top. I'm sure this has not been the start the NBA stars were expecting, but Team USA came out swinging, and right now, they're in control. Here is Z-Sting. And here's Reed. No good. Ripping against Jordan. And that's Michael Jordan breaking the 20-point threshold. What a game he's having. Boy, how about that dime from Patrick Ewing? Very impressive passes like this speak to his unselfishness. Here is Z-Sting. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's McHale. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Mike, we're pretty far into this game. How do you like what you've seen so far of Michael Jordan? I gotta say, I'm impressed. He's playing against some of the country's best pros and making a real impact out there. What a talent. Catching up on the changes for the Stars. Parrish, he's checked in for Williams. Aguirre comes in for Reed. Paxson, he's checked in for Whitman. And Isaiah Thomas is subbed in for c -Sting. Team USA also making some changes. Tisdale comes in for Turner. And Mullen subbed in for Person. And Jordan throws it down. Rolling towards the rim with momentum. Jordan is an absolute terror on the drive. Paxson outside. McHale on the wing. Thomas passes to Paxson. Back to Thomas. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Something that's really making this game special is this crowd. I'm told it's over 60,000 people who packed in here to see Team USA take on the NBA stars. The pass to McHale. Nice move. He can't get it to go. Good D by Jordan. 60,000 people. I mean, that's enormous. For a rare look mark, it's so many amazing points. And Kevin, it's not surprising at all that many are salivating for this matchup. And I'm sure there are plenty of you folks at home who couldn't be here in person, but you're making just as much noise as these fans are in the building. And now we can enjoy it together. Me, Mike Clark, and all of you. Let's go to David Aldridge and see what he's picking up on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Now, I have found something that both teams' coaches agree on. They think that these games are the best possible way to prepare the Olympic team for international competition. The NBA stars are among, if not the, best players in the world. So who better to challenge USA skills and bring them closer together as a team? Back to you guys. That's a good point. Thanks for that, D.A. Clark, any thoughts on these coaches' assessment? Well, Kevin, I fully agree with them. I mean, there's no way you can agree with them. Playing against the top talent is really the best way to develop your own game and grow as a player. You know the old saying, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. Oh, I love it, Clark. You really can't overstate how many exciting rising stars there are on this Team USA roster. Dynamic college athletes. 
many of whom already have big NBA oh, expectations. No oh, that's offensive interference. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for Ewing. The Stars trail by 12. And with a decent amount of this game already gone, Michael Jordan has been, Coach, just superb on offense. Yeah, this NBA star squad has not been able to shut him down. And he's outpacing Larry Bird in terms of scoring because of it. Can you believe what you just said? Outpacing Larry Bird. That's amazing. MJ. I'll say it a lot. Yeah. And once Jordan gets rolling, you're done. Because he's relentless in how he continues to attack. Guys like Perkins and Jordan and Ewing all seem like, to me, Clark, potential first-round picks. And I agree, Kevin, and it's a very interesting thought to consider while you watch how they handle these NBA stars. I mean, in some ways, this is like a first real taste of pro competition for these guys. I, I could see Ewing going number one overall, and I could see Jordan, for instance, going in the top three or four picks. I don't have any arguments there. A big part of Team USA strategy has to be making the NBA stars earn their looks. Nothing easy. If they give up quality shots, you know these pros are going to knock them down. So they've got to take away those easy, good looks. Rebounded by Perkins, something he's become very good at while at UNC. Tisdale passes to Jordan. Tries again, and the layup is good. Jordan's got the lead up to 14 now for Team USA. At six foot six with his crazy hops, Jordan could be a problem down low. Outside Aguirre. Rebound by Team USA. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. The shot's good from Jordan. Two points. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Here's Thomas. He sinks the 11-footer. Thomas got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, the jump shot of Thomas. Cash money. Boy, it's nice seeing him knock down that mid-range jumper. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left 